Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. As you can see, we're at Buckmore Park in the UK. We're going to do 10 laps around here in the Kart Sim X30s. I picked this up on the summer Steam sale um, purely because I'd grabbed Kart Craft um, about a month ago now and I wanted something else that I could run around in the X30s with um, and also get some extra tracks as well. So um, we've got all the benefits of running the Kart Sim tracks and also the ones that are available in R Factor 2. So um, I've run a couple of races so far and the AI are really competitive in this. It's extremely uh, close racing uh, and pretty intense. Um, a lot of fun and the as you can see the kart tracks are really really detailed too. I believe all of the tracks in this pack are laser scanned as well. The same as kart craft. Um, let's see how we go. 10 laps here and I think we're about to kick it off. Here we go. So I did um, in qualifying, or rather sorry, in practice, I got a 39.08 uh, so, and then I was pipped um, during qualifying, got a 39.7 uh, and pipped by these two cars ahead by literally I think um, a tenth of a second and Sergio Loro behind me uh, was about the same off me again, a tenth of a second off. So all the carts run pretty closely. I do pretty well around here. I've got them set to 101 for skill and 50 for aggression. I'm going to have to get past Yoss here. Now everything seems pretty comparable um, quality wise to Kartcraft. Obviously Kartcraft looks better graphically. Um, the carts behave in a similar manner to Kartcraft, but I think that the uh, the Kartcraft carts, how many times can I say cart, are a little bit more chatty. Um, they let you know what's happening at the rear of the cart a little bit more than these do. I'm not saying you can't feel what these are doing, but I've, I've turned the force feedback up in game just so I can get a little bit more information about what the rear of the cart's doing here. Um, still um, able to correct, you can definitely feel, feel when they're sliding like there, but it's just not to the level of cart craft. Now I, I would have expected a little bit a little bit more from the guys that put this out because they do offer a, a, a professional level cart sim for offline practice in the thousands so I would have thought that we would have got a little bit more information out of these carts especially being R Factor 2 as well um, but that's uh, that's my only gripe um, I'm having a huge amount of fun racing these um, and I'll definitely be running both of them you know I've got seven tracks across the two sims now plus all the uh, other ones that are available in R Factor 2 like Mishluk Kart Circuit so as you can see they stepped out there and I managed to correct it so all the same things apply, uh, minimal inputs where possible. Everything else is very, very good, very professional. The sounds are great. Model's great as well. This look exactly like the uh, the UK exurges I've seen running online actually at Buckmore, so Oh mate's blasted ahead. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, bogged that down a bit there. Down through paddock here. Might do a quick lap and just go through the corners with you. Okay, so over cafe here. Across the line, we come through Conway's, through Henry's, which is counted as all as turn one, then into the first hairpin, then the second hairpin, through the S's, try not to cut that one too much, there's a hard curve there, cut that one as much as you like, and the same again here, that was Symes, and then through Pullman and into Paddock, through Hill, and then into Garda, which I think is probably the most technically difficult corners in the circuit, then through centre, up the rise, and then back through cafe. And oh mate, is just flying ahead of us. Just 
It's not eating away at him at all. Absolutely blasting away. Through Symes and Pullman. Try and get it to turn into Paddock there, through Hill. Didn't take uh, Garda very well then, didn't set me up for centre too well. I believe that Buckmore was actually the circuit that Jimmy Broadbent raced in the 24 hours at with a team. And that team, that team won there, so I, I think that's, that, that it was um, Buckmore Park anyway. The, um, the pit area cafe and, um, and the timing box looks similar to the video, so I'm pretty sure it was here. And I know that Buckmore do run a 24 hour race. Now having said that there are differences between the way these two carts feel, they're not, not huge differences, um, but having said that I don't really know what an X30 feels like. I've got limited um, karting experience in the real world. I certainly haven't driven an X30, I hope to do that very soon. There's a circuit near me that has them available for public use, um, so once I've done that I'll know kind of how they really do feel. Obviously, the feedback that you're going to get through the wheel of a, a real X30, uh, especially at a track like this, is going to be a lot greater than I can get out of my um, CSL Elite. Going to need something like a DD wheel for that. Um, but I guess the uh, handling characteristics of the carts would be you know, something I will be able to compare. Last time through Paddock there and Hill wasn't able to catch the guy in first there, Eldoran, through Cafe for the last time and then across the line. Well, I hope you liked that guys. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Um, there's one day left on the Steam Summer Sale, so if anybody's interested in picking up two really cool uh, kart sims, obviously this is just a DLC for R Factor 2. I know I spend a huge amount of time in RF2, um, but I would recommend both this and Kartcraft, uh, and I would definitely recommend Kartcraft above this. Having said that though, they're both excellent in their own right. You're going to get some great detail circuits in both of them. Um, and if you've already got R Factor 2, then 16 Aussie dollars for this isn't uh, too much. I hope that they update this in the near future. Um, it hasn't had an update since sometime last year, and I'd love to see some extra tracks added to this. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.